Welcome to the Vapor Review Blog. My name is King, and uh, this is going to be a new series called Vape of the Day. Vape of the Day is going to be, uh, it's going to be recorded live. It's not going to be recorded every day, but it is going to be on most days. Um, when, I, when I record, I will find just any vape from my collection. Uh, today it's going to be the Volcano. And uh, we're going to talk about it. We'll do some demos. We'll talk about any accessories that are available, cleaning tips, uh, best practices, the company, and just get a little bit more familiar with the vaporizer. Um, the Volcano that I have here, as you can see, it's the Volcano Digital. There's also an analog one that instead of having a screen on it, it just has a dial, and you set the temperature by turning the dial. Uh, I have my digital set to 385 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a, a medium to low temperature for this vaporizer, uh, at least for me. Afterwards, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise it to its max temperature, which is 400 and, 400 and, oops, I just got it up. There you go. 446 degrees. And then we'll get some really thick, milky hits out of the, out of the vape. You'll, you'll see them in the bag. Now, the reason that, uh, the reason that Vape of the Day is going to be filmed live every episode is because I'm notorious for recording content and then not posting it at all. So we're going to start filming these live. We're going to be doing our sessions. I'll be answering questions if there are any. And each video is going to be about 10 to 15 minutes. So to get started, um, I'm going to pick one of these. I have two different chambers. I have one that's the regular size, full size. And there's also a reduced chamber for the volcano. The reduced chamber can work with these little pods that are for like the mighty, the crafty, um, the stores and pickle, other, other vaporizers. Uh, let's let's just get this one filled. Let me get some herb going on. What I'm going to do in this case is just get a fine layer of herb on the bottom. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to fill it vertically all the way, but I do want to make sure there's enough herb to cover the bottom or else it's not going to vape evenly. Well, you know what? There's some folks watching. Let me jump in here and make sure that I can read the comments. Hey, EOX. Welcome to the stream. Let me get this uh, popped out for you. Let's see. Pop out chat. Perfect. Now I can actually see the chat. Oh, I was loading this. That's right. So I'm going to get this top on. Get this on here. And then these are the easy valve bags. So you can see there's a little plastic thing on the end here. What that means... There we go. What that means, and I'll bring this down so you can watch it filling, uh, is that the bags are not meant to be replaced. They're meant to be thrown out when they're too dirty. Uh, there is a second set called solid valve a solid valve kit which has a, a bag system that you can replace the bag um, in in my case I don't really I don't really see the need for the solid valve kit I've owned the easy valve kit for as long as I've had the volcano I'm perfectly happy with it one bag lasts me months um, now I don't use the volcano every single day but the, the one bag can last definitely can last months uh, if you use it every day maybe two months max uh, but at a cost of $100 for the kit, um, which comes with the little adapter, I think that the bags are a pretty reasonable price. And if you really want to, you can rip open the plastic thing and replace the bag yourself. Uh, so I highly recommend the Easy Valve Kit over the Solid Valve Kit uh, every time. Now, what happens, as you can see, what happens, uh, I have a mouthpiece that I put on here. That's this little piece right here. If I were to pull it out, no vapor would escape because there's a little, there's a little, um, oops, there's a little plastic piece that, that seals the opening. When you push with your mouth on this mouthpiece, it pushes it in and opens the seal. So let's see if you can see inside of here. When I push it, it opens the seal and vapor comes out. So that's how the easy valve bags work. The solid valve bags work in the same, a similar principle where there's a piece that you push on, but the whole thing is, it's not plastic, it's, there's a lot of metal, it unscrews, and there's a lot of like little nooks and crannies where it can get dirty, it needs to be cleaned. Uh, the easy valve kit, which is, which is this herb chamber right here, and this piece right here, almost no maintenance required. I've had, uh, I mean, four years going on, and, and uh, cleaning this is, is, takes one second with a Q-tip. 
there's no real big cleaning process involved. So as you can see, 385 definitely gives us light vapor. You can see that it's clouding up in the bag, but it's not making it uh, completely opaque. It's still slightly see-through. So what I would like to do is empty this bag. Ooh, look at this, what a waste. Empty this bag, turn the volcano up to 446, and get <clears throat> another hit going on. So we're gonna let it warm up. And then after that, we'll switch over to this little reduced chamber and we'll, we'll give that a try. So you can see uh, wh what one bag looks like and feels like with the reduced chamber. Because I will say, when I'm by myself, when I'm vaping completely by myself, it's not a party setting, it's not a, um, it's not a, a multiple person setting, then I uh, would, would always use the reduced chamber. I would always choose that one. This one is, is wasteful. And that was one of my biggest complaints about the Volcano before, I, um, before I, I got the reduced chamber is that using it by yourself is pretty wasteful. Um, to answer the question if I think the Volcano is still competitive with uh, a lot of the new vapes that have come out in recent years, price-wise, it's $380 for the analog and uh, $500 for the digital Volcano. And then you need a bag kit with the, with the valve pieces, which is another $100. So you're looking at either $480 or $600 for a full Volcano kit that gets you up and running. Um, not the most competitive price, but because the Volcano has an incredibly good bag system, I mean, one of the best in my opinion, has a powerful pump, it's quick. Uh, start up from cold is about 90 seconds to get to pretty much any temperature. I mean, that's not the quickest, but it is quick. Uh, I would say the Volcano is absolutely competitive. Also, it has a very well-established name and reputation. Um, I've seen these all over Amsterdam when I visited. I've seen these in clubs where someone is walking around uh, offering people hits from a bag, and they have, you know, much, you can make much longer bags than this. So it's a very versatile vape. Um, I would I would still recommend it if you need an at home a desktop vaporizer then yeah it's definitely competitive um, and they did drop the price on it it used to be a much more expensive vaporizer oh, let me pull this off for a second when I start it I like to see the vapor coming out of the uh, the valve before I put it on and it's a little bit wasteful but it makes sure that you're not watering down your bag and oh there you go you can really see how much denser this looks. I mean, you can't see my hand through here. You can barely see my hand through here. And this is at 446. The side effect of using this vaporizer at 446 is, a moment, there we go. The side effect of using this vaporizer at 446 is that there's gonna be a lot of coughing. Also, I wonder if my bag has a leak. Look at this. <coughs> That's much denser. Um, <coughs> the vapor from the volcano at 446 is a lot harder. It hits me a lot harder. But uh, I think that it's um, like the experience is, is much more what I'm looking for. I've used quite a few vaporizers that have... Uh, um, you know, like they hit you really slowly. In general, if you haven't used a vaporizer, um, you'll notice that compared to smoking, joints, bowls, bong, uh, they, the high is a little bit different. The onset is different. The onset is a little slower. And the, um, the, the high is a little bit more mental and less body. But when you run the volcano at 446, not only is the onset a little faster because you're getting that thick, chesty hit, but you're also getting, uh, you're also getting like a little bit more of that body high. And I feel like part of it is from feeling the hit in your chest. <coughs> now, watch this. I turn the volcano off. I turn the volcano back on. It has an auto shut off timer. <coughs> Now, I don't remember what that auto shut off timer is, uh, but I do remember that I hate walking into the room and seeing a turned off volcano. That's like my least favorite thing ever. So be aware that there is that auto shut off timer and just 
like walk into the room, turn it off, turn it on, and then you can leave again. But besides that, I mean, look at how it's a very simple vape. There's not a whole lot to learn. There isn't any. <coughs> Ooh, very, <coughs> very dry. There isn't <coughs> any complicated learning curve. You got a button to turn it on and off, which says heat, and it turns the heater on and off. When it's off, it still displays the temperature of the heater. So it's like the, the vaporizer is designed for, for safety. And it is, I mean, it's a medical device first and a recreational device second. That's my uh, assessment of the volcano. Um, oof, I better not get too, too carried away in this game because otherwise I'm gonna lose my train of thought. Uh, so I, I would say, and Storrs and Bickle considers this like, you know, a very serious therapeutic device first. I would say therapeutic before I said medical, only because uh, it, it's not a medical device. It's a device for aromatherapy, but you know, with cannabis, with weed. Um, that's why it's so simple. It's so that anybody can use it. Uh, you know, it's like, turn the temperature up, okay. Turn the temperature down, okay. Uh, and then if you wanna get the air going, you press the button that says air. I believe this is maybe one of the older units and it has buttons here instead of switches. The newer units might have up and down switches on the bottom. Uh, I have to do, do some research on that. But what I really wanna do is finish this bag, help my team and, and get this little chamber loaded so I can show you what it looks like, like the first hit, 446 for um, the solo chamber, which doesn't take a lot. It's like a 10th of a gram. It's very, very little. And I'll tell you what, that will get you feeling, feeling colorful, you know? Uh, that'll, that'll get you pretty high. Uh, so let's finish this back. Come on, team. Move that thing. Oh, jeez. All right, I gotta load this quick. <coughs> oh my God, <coughs> it's a race against the clock to help. Well, you know what? <coughs> they seem to be doing okay. Team seems to be doing okay. <coughs> <coughs> so, in here, in this little dealy right here, like I said, about a tenth of a gram, it goes into this slot, and then the top goes on. Oh, you know what? You guys can't see a thing. Let me get this changed. Ah, sorry about that. Where's the button? There it is. There we go. So then this top right here goes on get that over here and then I'll get it going till I see a little bit of vapor coming out of it just want to heat it up there we go and then we get the bag on and we can go back to helping the team wow that is really clouding up you're gonna enjoy seeing this let me get this uh, let me get this back up for you look at that clouding up yeah, Rom, I've, I know what you mean. Rom says that he's fallen behind on video games and it's going to make him miss him. Uh, I took about a six-year break off of video games, and part of the reason was because growing up, I played a lot of video games, a lot of Counter-Strike, um, Diablo, World of Warcraft, Warcraft 3, and really, when you, when you grow up with all that stuff, uh, and I want to, you know, I want to warn everybody that'll ever watch this, uh, be aware of addiction issues. Like, you don't want to get addicted to video games. And so, at one point, I realized that, like, pulling myself away from video games was, was one of the hardest fucking things I could do. And that's when I, I got rid of my PC, I got a Mac, and I <laughs> didn't get any console. <coughs> and for six years, about, I played pretty much nothing. Then I got an Xbox One, maybe two years ago. And finally, this year, I built myself a gaming PC. <coughs> oh my god, I did that to myself. Yeah. So, uh, for me, personally, it, I only have one, one really good um, method of self-control, which is abstinence. I, I do abstinence, or self-control through abstinence. So if I, can't, if I can't do something a little, I can't do it at all. There's no like playing a little bit of video games for me, or at least there wasn't. Um, and of course, it's important to, oh, come on. It's important to like, you know, Keep watching what I'm doing and moderate but like this is a ton of fun I'm so glad I got back into it and uh, it was another vaporizer guy that got me back into it 
I was playing Overwatch on my Xbox, and uh, Vaporizer Wizard was like, you should play with me on PC. And I said, nah, man, I don't play PC games because they, uh, they're, they're too much. They're too addictive. And he was like, no, you should really play with me on PC. I was like, all right, I'll try it. And then I, I built myself a really beefy-ass computer, you know, i6700K, uh, uh, GTX 1070, the EVGA FPW one, um, and all sorts of other goodies. And uh, got back into gaming. Like, someone was nice enough to gift me Counter-Strike Go. So before that, I was, like, playing Counter-Strike Source. Um, what else have I been playing? Uh, League of Legends I tried. I got into that. Hey, Vaporizer Wizard. What's up, dude? This is it. You're the one who made me spend an unbelievable amount of money on PC parts so I could play video games. Thank you very much, sir. Uh... <coughs> Oh, not paying any attention at all now. And that's because we're at 446 on the dial, on the digital display dial, 446. That's why I'm... Um, look, and look at this color, huh? Why don't we get some of this zoom in action going on? Can we do that? Yeah. Look at that color. All right, I'm alive again. Let's zoom back. Holy smokes. All right. Where was I going? Volcano, volcano. So one question a lot of people ask, and I, you know, I've been... I've been um, I've been asking myself this, is how can a 15-year-old plus vaporizer be so competitive, like with all the, all the new stuff that's coming out? And, and the reason is because they only, in my opinion, uh, they only went out to do very, you know, a very small amount of things. Generate heat from this aluminum heat block that's in there and push it through with a pump into a bag. That's all it takes to get good vapor, and especially good convection vapor. And the volcano did it right from the start. I mean, it's set the standard, which is why it's still such a good vape. Um, if, uh, if the vo volcano, if the vaporizer industry moved anywhere near as fast as the rest of tech, then yeah, it would probably be out of mode. But um, it do number one, it doesn't. And number two, people are still using their iPod classics, right? This thing is the iPod classic of vapes. There are definitely better ways to listen to music, but people are still using their iPod classics because there's nothing wrong with them or they've upgraded them with like a little SSD or something. Uh, but that's, I mean, that's all the praises I'm gonna sing for it. There's, there, there are shortfalls. Um, the vapor is very dry. There's no native way to hook it up to water. You have to get your own kind of attachment. And I think that uh, that's absolutely necessary for, for health reasons. They claim this thing to be a therapeutic device. Then, you know, you wanna give people moisture conditioned vapor. Thank you team for carrying me. Um, no, there we go. Uh, moisture conditioned vapor. You got the Vape Exhale Evo. You know, Vape Exhale really believes that uh, moisture conditioning is part of the experience. You don't, you know, it's it's without it, you're only getting half. Um, besides that, I don't know. It's expensive. It's really expensive. Uh, but the customer service is good. I've heard complaints, but I don't have any. The customer service is good from my experience. Uh, in fact. I've heard of them replacing a 10-year-old unit with a brand new one because the 10-year-old one had buttons or switches, whichever, I forgot which, and they didn't have any more because they changed their design since then. And they gave them a brand new unit. So the company really believes in what they're doing. They sell these units all over the world. Uh, in Israel, I know that they are located in hospitals because the, the use of cannabis there for actual medical, um, medical, its medical benefits is completely above board and cool. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's all the praise I could sing about the, uh, the volcano. And I, I would highly recommend it. So if, if the money isn't a factor, highly, highly recommend it. If the money is a factor, then uh, you know there are a few things I would consider it against. I would consider it against the Vape Excel Evo. Um, they're about in that same price range. Uh, what other desktops would I consider the Volcano against? Um, I've used the Airizer Air, but not Air, the Airizer uh, Extreme Q, which is a similar, it's kind of like um, the, the, the people's version of the Volcano, right? If the Volcano is the luxury vape of its generation, then you have the Airizer Extreme Q, which I'll do in another video after I get my hands on one. Uh, that one would be more like the people's version of, of, of this. So the Volcano does everything a little better, but at a price premium. So for the best performance, you pay the most. And 
you know, they're the 80, 20, there's all sorts of principles at play here. Uh, I'm going to finish this bag and then we'll call it the end of this, uh, this video. Just to talk a little bit more about what this is and what I want to do here. Uh, as I said before, I'm, I'm notorious for recording like an entire video and then not uploading it. So I've decided that I practice ahead of time, I get everything set ahead of time, and then I do it live. And, uh, and then, you know, we just hit the road, hit the ground running, see where it goes, and then I end up yammering and rambling towards the end of the video. No better way to have a party. Hey, you guys watching how I'm using this bag, by the way, this is a technique developed by me. And I don't know if everybody does this, but I recommend it. You pull this as you're drawing through the bag, like really, it, it gets the, watch, push in action. And for anybody that's left watching, wants to know, this is a set of spoons that I got from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. I think they were like six bucks. The units of measurement are pinch, drop, pad, smidgen, all arbitrary. But you know what? For loading these, they're amazing. They're amazing for loading pretty much every vaporizer I own. Uh, highly, highly recommend these spoons. And for six bucks, they're like a steal of a deal. Uh, Bam, this is a super cool little email holder ashtray that New Vape makes. It's specifically designed to work with their new flower pot vaporizer, which um, I had on a, my last stream, I believe. But I use it for almost everything because it's got this little poker in the middle so that you can, you know, cash your vaporizer. Uh, and it's got two areas to hold, to hold your ADV. You could just kind of oop and then this to get the edges, see? And then it's got this thing that says hot. And you can put their uh, New Vapes flower pot email on it. It's kind of a, a dryer vaporizer slash email combo. It's very, very cool. Um, and this thing has a top. These pieces right here are unscrewable. You, you just whoop. And then uh, you can lay them down and it has a cover. So very, very cool. Little brush and poker that came with some, some vaporizer. I mean, many vaporizer covers. Vaporizers come with many glass and poker things. Uh, and, oh, let me get this thing. There we go. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, another one soon. Have a wonderful day.